I'd like to start out by saying thank you for using the Simply Canvas and Simply Color Lab video tutorial system. My name is Emily Sullivan, and this video tutorial is designed to show you how to prepare a file for a two and a half inch stretcher bar. What we're going to be doing is adding an additional three inches per dimension onto the image so that the image can accommodate that two and a half inch stretcher bar. So two and a half inches will be used to go around the side of the frame and the last half of an inch will be used around the back side of the stretcher bar where the canvas will be stapled and assembled. So the first thing that we're going to do once we have our image open in Photoshop is to come up to image, scroll down to image size, and our image size palette will appear for us. What we have right now is a 16 by 20 image at 300 ppi. And what I'd like to do is size the image at 20 inches by 24 inches. And then we will have to add on that additional 3 inches per dimension. So what we'll actually be sizing the total dimension of the canvas at is 26 inches by 30 inches. So at this time what we're going to do is simply change the longer of the two dimensions, which is the height, and we'll be changing it from 20 to 30. In order to do that, I'd like to start by unchecking the resample image box. And what that's going to do is set uh, the pixel dimensions for us. As well, it's going to link together the width, height, and resolution so that if one changes, they all change proportionately to each other. So I'm going to highlight the height, the 20 inches, which is the longer dimension, and make that 30 inches. And you'll see that the width is only set right now at 24 inches. We will need to change that in just a few moments, but we're not going to do it in the image size palette. You'll see also that the resolution is at 200 ppi. Again, we aren't going to change it right now, but we will um, in a few moments be changing it to a 100 resolution. So we're going to recheck the resample image box because all we wanted to do here was change the longest dimension and come into the bicubic section and choose bicubic smoother, which is best for enlargement, and click OK. At this time, I'm going to find my layers palette. It's just sitting behind my history. And we want to make our layer right now a workable layer. You can see that it is locked currently. We're going to do so by double clicking and renaming it layer zero. Click OK. And now that lock has removed itself and it is now a workable layer. So we're going to come up again into the image, this time canvas size, and at this time we're going to go ahead and change that width to what we actually want it to be. And we do want it to be 26, so we're just going to type in 26. You'll notice that when I did that the relative box was unchecked as well the anchor point was in the center. So now we have the appropriate dimensions available for us for our canvas. And what's going to happen when I click OK is that a canvas extension of two inches is going to be distributed around uh, the width of the canvas. So I'll click OK and there you go, you can see that. So now that we have the proper dimensions available for us, we do need to stretch our image out to fit inside of that. We'll do so by clicking Edit coming down to transform, sorry about that, scale. And now we have some anchor points to choose from, to pull from. And what I'm going to do is hold my shift key. You can see that I'm at the top left anchor point and I'm just gonna pull it until the image fills up that portion of the canvas. And likewise, down at the bottom right. Using the scale transform, what I'm able to do is just enlarge my image without uh, stretching or distorting it in any way. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to come up to the top right of the screen and commit to the free transform. There we go. Before I go any further, I would like to pull a few guides down. Remember that we have added an additional three inches per dimension on this canvas. So we're going to pull some guides down to those points. The purpose for doing this is to make sure that our image is in no way compromised, um, that the image is sitting properly on the face of the canvas the way that we want it to when it gets printed. So we're just going to make sure if we need to make any uh, adjustments that we can do so at this time. So the rider's head is a little bit close to that line. This line represents where the canvas is going to turn at a 90 degree angle around the side of that stretcher bar. 
So I am just going to move them down a little bit. Because we've done that free transform, we do have a little bit of extra image um, sitting outside of that canvas, which is going to give us the ability to just nudge it down slightly if we need to. Likewise, his tire is just a little bit close to that edge. I want it to just sit on that line and not go any over, so I've just moved it over a slight touch. So once I'm happy with the placement of that image inside of the front face of the canvas, I can come back up into image, image size, and at this time we're going to go ahead and change the resolution. We're just going to hit constrain proportions. We're going to make sure that that button's clicked and the resample image button is clicked as well. The constrain proportions button is going to lock together my width and my height so it can't move and I'm going to take it to 100 ppi or pixels per inch and click OK. And I'm just going to zoom back in so that you can see that the quality of that image is still very good. And the last thing that we're going to do is just to save the image we have completed all other tasks that we've needed to. So rider 20 by 24 inches for 2.5 inch stretcher. I am going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Click Save. We do ask that all of your JPEGs come over at the highest possible quality, which is a quality 12. So make sure that it's set on a quality 12 or on the largest file and click OK. Now your image is ready for upload into the ROSE ordering system. At this time you could go ahead and place that order and a video tutorial showing you how to order a two and a half inch stretcher bar is available for you on the website. Once again my name is Emily Sullivan and this has been the video tutorial outlining how to prepare a file in Photoshop for a two and a half inch thick stretcher bar frame.